It's been two months since street demonstrations erupted in Venezuela, and there are no signs protesters are going away. On Tuesday, police fired tear gas and stun grenades to clear thousands of students off the streets as they neared the nation's interior ministry. Opposition leaders who took part in the march feared the right to protest is being quashed. We're marching against the excesses of Maduro and his government. Once again, they ambushed a peaceful demonstration with rubber bullets and tear gas. Their goal is to intimidate us and wear us out, but we won't back down. Venezuela is in the midst of an economic crisis and many blame President Nicolas Maduro's policies for the rampant inflation, chronic food shortages and spiraling violence that have crippled the nation. Maduro says the opposition is using the protest to undermine his presidency, part of a U.S.-backed plot against him. For tens of thousands of Venezuelans, the only option now is simply to leave. This bus station just across the border in Colombia is busier than ever, as more and more Venezuelans look to escape hunger and insecurity. Single mother Etzeber Lopez is taking her daughter to Ecuador to start over. It's really hard for me to leave Venezuela because it's my homeland, but it's becoming too difficult. My daughter has asthma. What if tomorrow I can't find her medicine in the pharmacy? I want a good life for my daughter. Some analysts believe Maduro's plan to rewrite the constitution may prove to be his undoing. In my opinion, the most important thing is what's happening behind closed doors, the crisis that this has created within the government. Some of those loyal to Chavismo recognize that Maduro is just trying to keep himself in power. But for now, it's a political stalemate that seems likely to continue. Many of the Venezuelans who we spoke to believe this crisis is far from over and that the shortages and violence will only get worse. There's also a growing concern amongst the region's leaders that this turmoil could spill over its borders. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Cucuta, Colombia.